Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. American Pickers sees surprise surge in ratings despite fans calling for staged show to be cancelled. The show has been experiencing a ratings crisis, as the series has brought in the lowest numbers in years. The US Sun can exclusively reveal the third episode of season 26, The Great Rizzoli, had 566,000 viewers tune in. A description for the episode reads, Flying solo, Mike heads to the California castle home of the great Rizzoli, a sculptor, entrepreneur, and horror icon whose one-of-a-kind collection includes monsters, gargoyles, and a custom rocket ship on the front lawn. The ratings are still low, this is the highest episode of the season. The premiere episode brought in 565,000 fans as Mike, 59, picked through evil Neville memorabilia. The second episode of the season, which aired on October 16, brought in just 463,000 viewers, an over 100,000 drop in just one week. The ratings for season 26 are low compared to the prior one. Season 25, which kicked off with a two-episode premiere in December 2023, brought in 723,000 viewers for the first episode and 676,000 for the second. The numbers remained around the same throughout the rest of the month. By the January 24 episode, ratings surged to 948,000 viewers. The numbers dropped back down through most of February with the lowest rating on February 14 at 774,000 viewers and the highest on February 28 at 966,000. The season finale on March 27 brought in 832,000 viewers. The show reached over a million viewers before fan favorite Frank Fritz was fired from the series in 2020. Fans recently took to social media to demand the series be cancelled after 26 seasons on the air. This show needs to go. Cancel this show is a husk of what it was, one fan wrote. Another said, it was never good. This show ruined the buying-slash-selling market. A third asked, will American Pickers continue? Fans also recently accused the series of staging scenes. In a clip from a recent episode posted on the American Pickers Facebook page, Mike and Jersey John check out a mystical Shelby hidden in a barn. Mike called an expert who checked out photos of the rare car, which the star noted had missing parts. When Mike asked how much it would cost to restore, the expert said well over $100,000. When the expert said offering $75,000 was fair, the buyers declined to sell the car to Mike. The seller said it might sound crazy turning down an offer for a $75,000 car that's been sitting there 35 or 40 years, but it's a big decision to make. I understand people would say, this guy is a total idiot. Fans accused the scene of being staged. One viewer commented, not at all staged. A second said, these sort of shows have to be staged, it's entertaining television. Sellers have to give permission to appear on TV, contracts are signed, camera angles are plotted, sellers unfamiliar with filming rehearse, etc., who cares it is a good program. A third commented, all are staged. I think a lot of this stuff is planted ahead of time, a fourth said. A rep for American Pickers did not respond to the U.S. Sun's request for comment at the time. Frank's friend Jerry Gendro previously told the U.S. Sun how the series hasn't been the same without the star. I think the show is not nearly as good as it was. With the ratings, it doesn't have to be me or somebody thinking that, the nation knows it's not what it was. It needed Frank. Jerry also told the U.S. Sun how Frank would have returned to the show had it not been for the stroke he suffered in July 2021. My analogy of the two, Mike and Frank were like Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. Jerry Lewis Frank was just as important or maybe even more important for the show. It's very hard to be the Jerry Lewis all of the time. I think Frank would have went back, but he had his health issues, and he did have some serious health issues, from 25 or 30 on he suffered from Crohn's. Crohn's is a bold disease that causes inflammation in the digestive tract. Jerry explained how Frank became a fan favorite on the show because of his spontaneity. He was truly the comedian who popped out with some of the weirdest and dumbest things that you just go, wow, Jerry said. He made a mark on history. Frank's final episode was in March 2020. 
he passed away two years after suffering the stroke on September 30, 2024. The U.S. Sun previously reported the stars have signed on for three more seasons. But despite the contract, the U.S. Sun previously reported Mike and Robbie are nearing the end of the series. I don't know how long the show will last, a source previously told the U.S. Sun. I don't know how long Mike and Robbie will want to do this, I think they would want to retire at some point. It's a strain on your life, and they've done this a long time, Mike's friend revealed. When they're around it's, ah, we're on the road again. I ain't got time to do this, I ain't got time to do that, the source claimed. It's a love-hate like with any job. Some days you don't wish you had that job and you could do whatever you wanted. Some days you're all excited about your job, the pal concluded. Mike has been focusing on other projects outside of American Pickers. He runs his vacation rental company Two Lanes Guesthouse in Columbia, Tennessee and Le Claire, Iowa, and his bike shop Columbia Motor Alley. The reality star also owns a number of properties in Le Claire and Columbia, as he rents them out to businesses. The television series Asterisk American Pickers Asterisk has been a staple of History Channel's lineup since 2010, chronicling the journeys of antique pickers Mike Wolf and his former co-star Frank Fritz as they traverse rural America to hunt down treasures among mountains of junk. Yet recent episodes have seen an unexpected surge in ratings, despite a growing chorus of critics online calling the show staged and asking for its cancellation. This strange juxtaposition has fans and detractors alike puzzled. How is it possible for Asterisk American Pickers Asterisk to gain viewership, just as criticism intensifies? For loyal fans, Asterisk American Pickers Asterisk has always been about more than just finding vintage collectibles. The show shines a spotlight on American history, not the kind you find in textbooks, but the personal artifacts left behind by ordinary folks. A rusty motorcycle frame, a stack of forgotten postcards and old Coca-Cola sign, each item holds a story and asterisk American Pickers asterisk has made it its mission to uncover those stories. As longtime viewer Maggie Pollard puts it, when Mike Wolf picks up a dust-covered toy and says, this probably made some kid really happy once, I'm reminded of the simplicity of joy. This personal, nostalgic connection keeps fans tuning in each week. However, some say the show's formula has started to wear thin over the years. Critics argue that the hunts feel too predictable and have accused the show of relying on staged interactions. Accusations of the show's supposed artificiality are not new, but they've become louder as Asterisk American Pickers Asterisk celebrates its 13th year on air. As one anonymous online critic put it, I don't buy that Mike just happens upon these folks, and they're always ready to wheel and deal. It feels too convenient, and it's lost the raw charm it once had. Such accusations call into question whether the antiques we see, or even the deals made on screen, reflect reality. Yet as ratings spike, the question remains, why? Entertainment analysts suggest that the answer may lie in a combination of nostalgia and timing. The asterisk American Pickers asterisk appeal has always drawn from its portrayal of a side of America that viewers might not get to see otherwise. The barns full of relics, the weather-worn homes, and the backroads where history is literally gathering dust. People want authenticity, but they also crave comfort, notes cultural critic Jonathan West. While the show might feel staged to some, the broader image it presents of America feels very real. It's about preserving the past, and for many viewers, that's become a comforting escape from today's fast-paced world. Interestingly, the show has become a unique staple of Americana in and of itself. People who might have turned to streaming platforms for newer content are instead rediscovering the familiar, hoping for that rush of wonder when Mike opens an old barn door to reveal a forgotten relic. For many, Watching asterisk American Pickers asterisk feels akin to spending time with an old friend who's consistently a source of light-hearted fun, educational insights, and unexpected surprises. As some fans pointed out in online forums, they are willing to overlook any perceived staging because they love seeing what forgotten treasures the Pickers might find next.